Wow. Whoa. Oh, you might have to wipe your lens a little. Okay. Let me, you have anything for me to wipe it with? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're live. We are live. What's up, everybody? Hold on. I got to pull y'all up so I can see that chat. Chatty chat, chat, chat. Let's see. Sorry, everybody. Gonna. Ooh, that's better. Way better. Way better, better, better. Hey, better, better, better. Hey, better, better, better. Oh, there you guys are. Notifications just went out. We have Lisa Blackman here. I don't know if it's, is it kind of crooked? The light or? No, it's, no. I think it's good. It's, it's like good. crooked. The what? The light. The, the screen is good though. The light is crooked. It's bothering me. Okay. Gayla is here. Jamie is here. Betty Pierce is here. Joanna Bachman. What is up? I'll Matthew right Vanderwall. Hello. Ooh. Courtney Jones. Let me have a little bit What's of What's up, sauce? guys? Oh, yeah. So we just had dinner and decided, you know what? Let's do a little fun mukbang here at Sonic for dessert. Yeah. Because why not? And I totally forgot a dessert. Well, actually, I didn't forget. Um, I don't, the... Those kind of food are your dessert. <laughs> the milk, yeah, this is like a dessert. The milk doesn't, the ice cream doesn't do well with me. No, yeah. I told true. you there was a cheesecake milkshake. Ooh, that would be good, but... So, what did you get? Okay, so, I will start, I guess. I got the cookie dough ice cream. You probably can't even see that. Cookie dough, I don't know. Milkshake. Milkshake. Cookie dough blast. Cookie dough blast milkshake. It's got whipped cream, a cherry on top, and it is so good. There, I'll try to show you guys. Their, um, what do you call it? Cookie dough? <laughs> They're like little pieces of cookie dough. Oh, it's so delicious. They have like, I would say some of the best cookie dough chunks. Ever. Yes. Out of anybody. Yes. Cause they're not too big, but they're just like perfect bite size. We got a cherry. Mm -mm. Oh, thank you. Someone said they like my glasses. Courtney Holland, thank you. I can actually see the, I can actually see. Which is always a bonus. Yes. Is one of your phones down here, Ethan or, or Elijah or Amberlynn? No. Oh. Mm. So you guys, what did, okay, let's see what Amberlynn got. I got a lemonade slush. A le you guys, okay, if so you have not had Sonic's slush, not only their slush, next time you'll have to try this one, they're cream slushes. Ooh, it's kind of oh. like Orange Julius style, yeah. but different flavors. They're so good. I always, I when I get the cream slush, I get the lemon cream slush. So Emberlyn has the lemonade slush. Show them what it looks like. I don't know if they can see it because the light. But uh, <laughs> it's just kind of just like a slushy, and I just had a little swig of it, and it is so good. It's a little bit sour, but it's really, really good. Me and Evelyn are officially switching. You guys are switching what? it up? Uh-huh. Because you get the M&M McFlurry, right, Ems? So she probably would like that. Yeah, and I tried right. this, and I'm like, oh, dang. <laughs> yeah, hey, that works out. So basically, Elijah, but now Emberlyn, has the M&M Blast. Blast. So they have, like, looks like it's mini M&Ms in there, too, which I like that they do them bite size like that. Yeah. The mini only... M&Ms are good. Like, yeah. Even when you buy them, like... Straight up. The only good. problem is the flavor is good, but it always gets stuck in my teeth, and it's so annoying. The M and M's. Really? They get oh, like stuck the in shells? My teeth. Yeah, because like mm. you have to bite into them so you can fully swallow like, the ice cream and all that. I can see that. Oh Where? yeah, Kelly Brown gets bags of ice from Sonic. That's true. Oh, you can't I do keep that. forgetting that you can do that. Mm -hmm. And I actually think you can do that at Fizz too. I want to say. Yes, definitely you could do that at Fizz, and um, yeah, like for a party <laughs> or something, that would be awesome. Oh, Ethan, the dog wants you. Um, well, I got a headache. The only thing, I mean, guys, brain freeze. I'm not a huge fan of whipped cream on top. Oh, oh I love whipped cream. I don't cream. love the whipped cream mm. on top. Can I try it? Mm -hmm. I'll feed you. Like Ethan, can you lower days. that and put um and keep an yeah, eye on Benny, please? The whipped cream on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not as good. Mm -hmm. It's a little sweet. I'm gonna take it off. Actually, can you get his blanket? Get his blankie. I hear it. Oh, I that's our it. job. Over here on Fan Bam Foodies, it's our job to get you guys hungry. Oh, right? Oh, yeah. If, we, if you guys are hungry while you're watching this, then we did our job. We have succeeded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my gosh. I take the whipped cream off. I forgot whipped cream came on this, and it's like, ugh. So, you guys, <laughs> I got tater tots with their fry sauce. Free freeze. And a chili Frito thing. 
And uh, yeah, that's a, that's what I got because I, I can't do too many of the shakes. Like the other day I had uh, Baskin mm -hmm. Robbins and like it was like a little too much for my stomach. The like, ice it lasted cream. like two days. You need to get an ice cream that's not like a dairy. So yeah. like if you did like um, like what I always get, the rainbow sherbet. Okay. You could totally do that and probably be fine. Or I could get probably little lac lactate drops or whatever. That should work. Or that's you true. could get the cheesecake milkshake. Ooh. But cheese Look, guys, I feel like that's how I'm going to see if you can see this. Probably not. Dang. That is the size of the cookie dough bites. It's and like, mm. It's so it's good. Totally like Ben and Jerry's They're size. small, but I feel like because they're small, they can they can mix it really good throughout the whole milkshake. Oh, so there's a lot. Mm-hmm. That's like so this good. with the M&M's. Yeah, like I don't like it when they do these mixed blizzards and stuff, and it's just like a few on top. And then by the time you get to the bottom, it's, it's literally just, just plain. It's just vanilla ice cream. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that. No, this is bomb. Dairy Queen's um, chocolate chip cookie dough is really good too. Their chunks are a little bit bigger, but they do a pretty good job of getting Ooh! it throughout. Brain okay. freeze. Ah, no. <laughs> Brain freeze. Oh, you all right? Ah. Like this to the top Ooh. of your mouth. The thumb to the top of your or mouth. Or put your tongue on the top of your mouth. Gonzo? Ooh, it's gone. Man, these give you like major breaks. They do if you <laughs> drink them too fast. Sherbet is the way. Yes, I love sherbet. I love the, the Baskin Robbins um, pralines and cream. Baskin sherbet. Benny Jasper, like stop wrestling. <laughs> Man, I wish there was a what way. What do you guys like from Sonic? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't see the chat or else I would. Let's see. I wish I could get an Eminem, like one of the Eminem, like. Things? I'm in the hospital. Like the You're making me hungry, them? Judy says. Mm -hmm. but like, the what? Judy says we're making her hungry. Oh, sorry, Judy. <laughs> She's in the hospital. Oh, dang it. Even worse, because hospital food is not the best. Our Sonic doesn't mix their blasts. It's mostly on top. Ooh, oh. no fun. Ours does. Ours does a good job. Wait, does what? Mixes it really good with the, with the cookie dough. And... Yep. Sending prayers to Judy, you guys. Yes, for sure. Hope everything's okay. Hey, what's up? Tyler's in the house. What's up, Tyler? Was this Tyler, Tyler? Um, no, Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Oh yeah. yeah, okay. What's up, prayers? Everyone's giving prayers to Judy. So you guys, what is your absolute favorite dessert and meal or item at Sonic? Absolute mm -hmm. favorite, what is it? Yeah, it could be food, dessert, whatever. Give another sauce. What kind of food do you usually, guys usually get? What are we doing, Batman? Ah. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm Batman. You can? Oh, whoa. I was saying. Oh, Gotham City. Oh, whoa. I am Batman. Oh. I am Batman. You are not Batman. How do you do that? <laughs> How do you do that? I guess you're not Batman. Like I'm Batman. And you, you are not flip Batman. It flip it over. Which way? This way? I can't do it, right? Exactly. Oh. We are Batman. I'm not flexible Batman. enough. Women. I, women. I am Batwoman. This is <laughs> real. I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone. You are. <laughs> oh my gosh. What does that stand for? Benny. He's getting a little feisty with Jasper. Ooh. Do you guys know? Guess what's coming out on Christmas Day? Me and Amber Lynn have been waiting for this for Forever. such a long time. The first movie was really good. What is it? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Part two. We are so excited about it. That was a good movie. So, it got delayed because of COVID, so. Lindsay COVID? B says the chili, I mean, Courtney says the chili and cheese Coney dog, yes. Mm. Lindsay says the cheese from the pretzel, OMG. Oh. Um, let's see, Kelly Brown says corn dog and tots. Oh. Um, Their tots are good. Right? Jalapeno Whoa. poppers okay. with and okay. tea with cranberry. Ooh. Ooh, dang, I've never had that. Let's see, what? popcorn chicken with mozzarella stick and lemon slushies. Yes, yes. that's wow. right that's, up my that's alley. That's literally like Tina's order. Yep, that's right up my alley. <laughs> Let's see, um, pretzels and cheese. Never had that, have you? Um, no. That sounds yum. Actually, I think Ashlyn would really like that too. Ice cream blast, I can't wait to watch Virgin River. Oh my gosh, I have one more episode of the five episodes. I know a lot of you guys binged it, but... I am up to episode four. I got one more before our live tomorrow. And Tina's got an announcement on her channel, so stay tuned for that. Oh. Yes, there's an announcement. A little teaser for you. Ooh. So make sure you're subscribed Wait, what? so you are there for the announcement. 
and yeah. you get notified. It's Tina Reacts on YouTube. Obviously YouTube. I'm trying to see if I can see any of the comments from here, but I can't. I probably can. Can you no. see right here? Uh, that's not gonna do well. Oh, well, well. Here, we'll just Take switch it. off. How's that? Yep. Okay, so yes, can't wait to see it. Hi, just saying hi, uploading a video for me walking in the snow. Amy, you are awesome. Uh, Courtney says, I consider myself Wonder Woman. That is amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are all Wonder Women, right? In our own I'm ways. I'm Superman. So, you guys, these little chili cheese Frito things, they're, they're 99 cents. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, so that's, that's really pretty good. good. That is really good. Oh, my gosh. No spoilers on Virgin River, but OMG. You guys, I just keep hearing about how the last, like, last episode is a major cliffhanger. So I'm like, oh, We might just watch it right after. I don't want to know. You know what's the worst when you're watching, like, a live series? So it's like a live series, and pretty much what happens is, like, they post, like, an episode, like, every week. So if you watch an episode, it ends off in a cliffhanger. You gotta wait a whole week. Mm -hmm. I know. Especially with, I, I and especially with just seasons in general, like The Flash. I was watching it, finished the season, ends off in a cliffhanger. I'm like, okay, next October. Boom, COVID delays it, and oh. now I have to wait longer. I think it's I like know that October feeling. 2021 now. Oh yes, wow, they're skipping like a whole year. I think something like that. I don't. I don't. Yeah, that's I'm a not long for sure, time. But it's somewhere, or it maybe May. Mm. I forget. May would be better. I forget, but I'm just like waiting for it because it's such a good movie. I usually wait for it to like come out on Netflix, but I might have to just watch it live. Um, Jembo says, I promise not to binge it, Tina. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I literally get it though when you want to because it just, every episode it like leaves you hanging. You're like, oh, well, I gotta watch the next episode. So, so. if you don't want to binge it, watch it like late at night right before you have to go to bed that's literally what i do so, so you're like oh man if i binge it i will get no sleep yep. and yeah sleep's a little more important that's why i have one episode left because i watched two episodes last night and i was like oh my gosh it's like one in the morning i gotta go to bed <laughs> i was like i gotta go to sleep i'm tired yeah <laughs> sleep, Danny went and lay down early honestly my mindset i'm like who needs sleep when it comes to a good show just so it feels <laughs> like that it was a good show until you fall asleep in it yeah. casey asked did you guys decorate for christmas yet Yes, go check and our actually, blog out. if you go over to Philip's Fam Bam, our regular channel, we put a video of it today of us putting the Christmas tree up and all the Christmas ornaments and all that stuff. So stay tuned because we're going to be doing a video on decorating our front yard. Yes, very very soon. We had to get it all cleaned and mm -hmm. the leaves had to be gone and all that stuff. So gardeners came today, cleaned it all out. Uh, Tyler says, not going to lie, if I did that, I'd choose binge over sleep. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. I get that. Um, I feel like if I, if I, like, even if it's in the middle of the day, when I watch an episode, I I would, like, think about it all night. Just, like, I'm so excited just to get watched. <laughs> it is. You know? okay. You'll dream about it. You'll dream about it. Gosh, I, I'm loving, like, even Danny's sister, because we were talking about through Thanksgiving, about, like, all these different shows and stuff, and Danny's sister is, like, been messaging me okay which one am i supposed to like which one virgin river did it or this <laughs> one so it's kind of funny um kelly brown let's see oh it's sour how did oh thank you kelly uh let me just hide that person sorry hater Hater. 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 Some people just um, want to be me. <laughs> so you guys, we are changing up our loft a little bit, and we're going to be doing it tonight, so stay tuned. Oh, we for, are? Mm -hmm. yeah. like yes, we are. So it's probably going to be kind of a late evening tonight. Um, well, Callie, yeah. I'm excited for the live stream yeah. on Tina Reacts tomorrow. So much to talk about on this season of Virgin River, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Somehow our conversations always turn into this, That's even fine. on this channel. <laughs> Wait, what? This mukbangs are mukbangs are food and talk. Yep. Um, I want to do Jolly Bee. Yes, you guys, we are going to do a Jolly Bee. I want to do. You don't understand how much I want to do Jolly Bee. We have a fun little twist to Jolly Bee. We'll do probably this week, late at the end of this week. <laughs> a lot of people are like, "Oh, Jolly Bee again," but then we get like a huge amount of people who are like, "We want more." So I know. It's like. It's a, it's a catch twenty two. We have a huge Filipino audience uh -huh. who loves 
watching the Jollibee videos. So yes. we will be doing more for I sure. Jollibee. Jollibee is so good. I just really been wanting their burger. Their um, their Jess Nicole, uh, can someone give her just a brief summary of what Virgin River is about? Like if you could totally. Did you do season one? Yes, I did. We did oh, do season one. Channel. So if you go to my channel, um, Jess Nicole, I have like a, well, but I don't want to give you spoilers either. You need to do recaps. You know what? Here. Virgin River season one, I think I have a preview on my channel of it that you could go watch. You know what? That would be. I know it's about. Probably best. It's a river that's in Virginia, guys, so. No, it's not. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, it was beautiful to hear that a family had Brayden over to help decorate their tree. So sweet. Honestly. Yes. I was telling Brayden on the phone this week. I was like, that was the best text message because we're so used to putting Christmas up together as a family. Mm -hmm. We do it every single year. We all, you know, put on Christmas music, blah, blah, blah. And it was cool because literally that night, the lady sent us the text message of him put, putting up decorations on their tree. And I was like, oh, like... In a weird way, it was like, oh, we're all kind of still doing it together, just apart. Yeah, so the traditions kind of stayed alive for him. And you could even see in the video, like, Elijah goes around every year. You can even watch our past videos. Yeah. Um, he goes around every year, and he hugs everyone when we're doing the, the Christmas tree. And so... He went around this year, and if you see in the video today, he went over and he hugged Brayden's frame. I got <laughs> to. It's tradition. You can't leave him out. I can't yeah. leave him out. And so you guys, just to give you guys a heads up, over on the Phillips Fan Bam on Sundays, um, for the next three Sundays leading up to Christmas, we are going to have Christmas specials. And so yes. we're going to have our Christmas Eve and Christmas Day combined, kind of like a little mini movie, Christmas movie for you. We're going to start with 2017 then go 2018, and then go 2019, leading up to the fourth one, which will be 2020. So um, make sure to stay tuned on Sundays. It'll be an extra long vlog combined. And we're gonna watch them before we um, post them. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna give you kind of uh, a little feedback in those videos on- How we, we felt watching it back. Yeah, what we liked about them, and then you guys can go ahead and watch them. So um, those will be on the next three Sundays. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I let really... Me, actually, let me know what you guys think of that. I think it, to, to get in the Christmas spirit, we're going to go 2017, 2018, 2019 for the next three Sundays. And then you guys will see our It'll 2020 Christmas. One, yeah. yeah. Okay, so Tyler had a really good question. I like this. Everybody <clears throat> should participate in the comments. Here's a little bit of a game question. If you had the chance to put yourself in someone else's shoes for a day, who would you choose and why? Say that again, sorry. Wait, wait, what was If it? you had the chance to put yourself in someone else's shoes for a day, who would you choose and why? Ooh. Uh, That's a good question. Could we swap? I would do Nana. Oh. I would do Nana just to let her out of herself for oh, a little bit. Oh, that's going to make me cry. That's such a good idea. Yeah. And if you so, could swap swap with her. Yes, and I, if I could do it. Oh, and I then, love that. And then if I could, like, you don't know if there's things that she's not voicing, like, that she would like to have done better. Like, mm -hmm. would she like to sit mm -hmm. up more? Mm -hmm. Would she like, I mean, little things. Like, well, if you she's were in well her taken shoes, care of. If you were in her shoes, you would be able to feel what she feels. I know, that's what I'm saying. So be like, mm. oh man, I wish I would just popped up a little bit. That would make my day. That's or a good one. Or whatever. That's so a really good one. I would do Nana. Huh. And then, yeah. That's I tough. Would do... That's good. I However, like I would that. feel bad for my mom having to change my diaper. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I would you do... would still be Nana, though. <laughs> just, I don't know. <laughs> I would do mom or dad. Because they have a better mindset when it comes to cleaning. Oh, So okay. when I clean, I'll, be, I'll have a good mindset. That's true. And and also, I can do what I want. <laughs> you would to be an adult. Extent. To a certain extent, you could do what you want. Um, yes. I'd be um, I would choose one of my ancestors. Ooh. Ooh that'd be interesting. That's a good one. Day. I like um. that. Um... Ethan, can you lower that, please, bud? Did you want to show them what you got, E, or do you, are you done? Gayla, is it sad that there are certain people we look for in the lives? No, Gayla, I feel like that's normal because we've all kind of become friends I'll go. in the lives on hey. Tina Reacts. Bye, guys. Is that what you're talking about? Or any, oh, any live, probably. Because we've all become friends, so some names are super familiar. And at times, faces, right? Yeah. Um... So as you guys know, we allow the kids to stay in as long as they want, and they're able, to, they're free to leave. 
So they kind of uh Oh yeah. Are Sayonara. Bye bye. Sayonara. I would bring back my mom so she could have one last Here. time with all of her yeah. loves. Are you sure? Yeah. In a healthier body. <laughs> oh, that would be so awesome. Ah, oh, Gayla. She says Tina because she is a motivated person. Oh. oh sometimes I'll tell you. Follow her on Instagram, you guys, and accept her challenges. Oh, wow. Let's get rid of BB Juga. Just so you know, that is a threat. Not taken lightly. Okay, hide. Um, I would choose to bring back my grandfather. Oh, that, that would be awesome. I would choose my grandma that passed away. I'm very much like her, but always feel I can learn from her. I know you almost do want to choose someone who has lived more years than you because yeah. just their wisdom and their perspective is different. Like imagine Nana, she's been alive for 103 years. Insane. Like what has she seen in 103 years? So much. So much. It's like crazy. Casey Tucker, we are from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, yeah, like she's just seen so much. Yeah. I'd swap with my son to see things from his perspective. He is gay. Hey, I honestly, I feel like that would be the best way. Like if you wanted to walk in someone else's shoes, almost the opposite of you to yeah. gain that, that perspective. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't want to walk in the shoes of someone that I'm like similar to. Similar to. So. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, you would bring back your mom. She died of liver cancer. Oh, Kelly, that's, yeah. Um, choose to bring back my grandpa. A lot of, like, grandparents. I would choose to bring back my grandpa. I was very close to him. I took care of him before he died. Oh, that's oh. amazing. We have, like, a new, not newly found, but I guess more of a, more compassion, more understanding, I guess, of like caretakers and what it takes to take care of a family member. Just mm -hmm. seeing his mom do it and how much she does is like It's interesting because we, we kind of got a little glimpse of it before Nana got hurt yeah. with our friend um, Reggie, Reg Edited. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, you guys have met, seen her on YouTube. If you haven't, go check her out. She's awesome. But she's a caretaker for her mother. Mm -hmm. And she kind of was vlogs. If you want to check her out, she does vlog sometimes. A lot of um, fasting and stuff, but she also brings up caretaking uh, for her mom yeah and, and that how kind much of it takes and yeah kind of like it actually like never i was never really aware of it until we met her and then all of a sudden like my mom was instantly a caretaker and i'm like oh wow yeah this is like a thing this is like a daily thing and it's it's not always easy for caretakers no because I, they no. do sacrifice so much of their life to take care of their loved one yep and so um 100 it's just interesting um, hey, Nick, what's up? Um, I'm glad I got time to spend with her before she passed. Um, we got to Maine in 19 hours and usually takes 22. Oh, wow. That's amazing. My best friend, I named my teenager after her passed away from brain cancer 19 years ago. Oh, oh wow. wow. When will the second part of Ethan's room makeover be? Oh. We are actually waiting for the rails. They were supposed to come today. We should call. Yeah, because they Cause have not. They didn't call to um, confirm the delivery. There is a truck outside right now, though. But Watch I... that be it. Oh, did they call to confirm? No. no. Huh. So the other one did, but that I don't know. I think it was because it's so big. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm like, there is a truck. There's a truck out front. They just passed off. Maybe they looked in and saw that we had our um, ring light on. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we will not disturb them. Um, I like your house. Oh, thank you, Casey. Yeah, make sure to check out the vlog today, you guys. And also, how many of you saw the cake mix cookies? You guys, those are so oh. good. Actually, I didn't even try the eggnog one. Wow. I That's didn't. how quick they went, though. They're gone, yeah. Although there weren't that many of them, but those, the eggnogs, they were delicious. Um. Uh, just, Sorry. Let's see. Those cookies look delicious. They honestly were so good. Yes, I'm gonna make the eggnog ones. Let us know, Lisa, how they turn out. Cake mix cookies look delicious. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, if you guys saw in the video, we did show a few 
um, a few ornaments that were sent to us from fan members over the years. Yes, that we so, love. It's awesome. Um, but yes, you're right. Uh, who was that that said that? Hold on. Yes, Jess Nicole. We do have quite a few videos of cake mix cookies, so it is a thing. They're, and they're all different ones. They're all different kinds of cake mix cookies, so, and they're all delicious. <laughs> we really like them, you guys. I feel like they're the best cookie to make for the holidays. They, I easy. like hands down, even during like the year, but especially for the holidays because. You can make, they're so easy and you can make so many at one time that you just like can put them on plates and give them to your neighbors or, you know, however you want. It's like a cookie cupcake. Mm-hmm. It is. Um, what exactly does eggnog taste like? Um, like I don't like nutmeg. It's kind of nutmeggy. It's like a cinnamon. It's like a cinnamony, vanilla-y. It's hard to explain a what it thick, tastes like. A thick cinnamon milk. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, duh, duh, I like the desserts you guys and Inez make. I always get hungry after watching. Oh man, then we're doing our job. <laughs> Snickerdoodle sugar cake. I think we did Snickerdoodle cake mix cookies. We might we? have, I think, I think we might have. If I'm remembering correctly. What do you guys do on this channel? I just saw you on my recommended Flyers Fan 77. Welcome. welcome. We do everything food on this channel. So yes. you will see us eat, eat, and eat some more. <laughs> we'll you do taste us. tests. Yeah. We do muk, uh, mukbangs. We do a series that we have called Keep It or Swap It, where we have food and we either keep it or swap it with it's the game. It's covered. Of rock, paper, we don't scissors. know what it is. And then what else do we do? Just taste tests, drive through, um, challenges. Yes. We do a lot. Mm -hmm. We do a lot and we're always doing new stuff. Cooking, so. we do cook with me's. We do a lot like sometimes we'll do um, uh, easy TikTok recipes. We'll do just regular um, crock pot recipes. Grocery hauls. Grocery hauls. Anything food related. Yep. Um, hey, hey, I got canes the other day after watching your video of, of watching canes. Ooh, Ooh, Emily, what did you get? I love canes. Let me guess. Did you get chicken? Anyone else on countdown to winter break for school? I have a week and a half left until break. By the way, Tina, your comment about calculus and how you look at your kids, they're crazy. She DM'd me the other day about my, uh, my math uh, meme. Oh. Did you see my math meme in on my Instagram stories? No. It was like, oh, I should pull it up. What's it say? I think maybe I did. Let's see. It says, oh. Maybe it's gone now. Dang it, it's gone. Basically saying like math. Oh no, I have it in my pictures here. Oh, here we go. Maybe we'll find it. Sorry, it was funny. I may have seen it. Gosh, I have way too many pictures in here. Okay, here it is. Dear math, please oh, grow up. Oh, I saw that one. Please grow up and solve your own problems. I'm tired of solving them for, for you. <laughs> oh man, so funny. Okay, let me pull this back up. Okay. Um, seven inches of snow, Courtney. Holy moly, Holy moly. That's insane. How do I like a video? So if you're on your phone, you have to click out. You just click the X for the chat and then it will pull up and you can like it. And then you can just click live chat again. It'll pop back up. Sweet. <clears throat> Tutorial. Mary S says, I actually found your channel almost a year ago looking up cake mix cookies from the year before because... Then you made another one last year. Wow, that's awesome. That's very cool. Of course, Paula, always. Try holiday flavor candy, M&M &M sugar, sugar cookies. Ooh. Ooh, we could do that. That would be good. We have two inches of snow in Ohio, in Southern Ohio. Same in Texas. What videos do you have coming to this channel? A lot. Yes, a lot. Taste test. Actually, I do want to do another um, another food race. We've done two already. We did the chicken nugget race. We did the French fry race. Mm -hmm. I think we've got to do like a cheeseburger race or chicken but sandwich. Like, didn't we do a chicken sandwich? We could do a chicken sandwich race. Oh, chicken sandwich would be good. Yes. And so, then test it out. Yes. Or Ooh. we could do a salad race. Or there's different races we could do. You guys let us know again. But I do want to do another race. Yeah, a race would be soon. fun. Those are always fun. 
Oh yeah, I love the food races. Those were fun to watch. I think a video idea would be cooking subscribers' recipes. Yes, we yes. do need to do that because we, we have a order. whole folder in our email of your guys' recipes that we need to get to. Yes, and we also um, we also order our subscribers' <laughs> fast food menus, or we let the subscribers order for us. Yes, which is that's fun a lot too. of fun too. Oh gosh, we need to do another one of those coming up. Yes, we can, and we've done. We've also done. We let YouTubers order for us. We had Roman Atwood, Sean Johnson, Andrew East, John Murray, the Meet the Millers, the Mowers, the, um, they all ordered our food for yeah, us. Yeah, that was fun was too. a lot of fun. Gosh, so many things that we would love to do again. Yes, Emma Emma and Ellie's family, um, they ordered our food. Oh yeah. Just quite a, quite a few people, you guys. Uh, someone said tacos, do a taco race. We didn't do a taco one, did we? Oh, Jack in the Box. That's so smart. Jack in the Box, Taco Bell, Del Taco. Carl's Jr. has green burrito. Does that, they have tacos? Oh yeah, yeah. so you could do that. And, and then uh, there could be one place where you have to go in. So like Fausto's and Roberto's. And Roberto's. Oh. <laughs> That's gonna happen. That is Very so quick. crazy. Yes. Okay, maybe we'll do that. Amazing taco race. I think a good cook with me would be the taco casserole. I feel like we've done the taco casserole, haven't we? I think we have. Look up taco casserole fam bam. Someone Can someone be our secretary for today? Yeah, I know. Taco casserole fam bam and see if we did a taco casserole. I'm interested to see. Ooh, Gayla, I remember the frozen windshields when I lived in Idaho. So annoying. You have to start your car way ahead of time to defrost the windows or you had to go out there and scrape off all the ice. Not fun. No. Brayden did give us a name of a rest of a... Uh, a meal to make he said it was up he, he had it for thanksgiving and oh, i want to bread. it's like cornbread like a cornbread casserole or something like that no it was, corn it was bread. cornbread mixed with what oh he said it oh crap now i can't remember what it's called cornbread it's up, something yes does anyone have an idea dang i don't know what charles thank you charles thank you Oh, we did do a oh, taco cake. Oh, he said we did the taco cake. That okay. was actually awesome. And actually, tar Charles made it and sent me a picture of oh, it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys, that taco cake was Del stinking bomb. Delicious. Mm. That would be awesome, Jen. Maybe you can get Roman and Britt to do it again and order for y'all. That would be so fun. Gayla, Yvonne loved when Roman ordered for Danny. Yeah, Roman now would order for me, and you guys... He did not go easy. Yeah, go Danny. check out that, because <laughs> he ordered... He gave me an order from McDonald's, but there was a twist to it. And you guys... Oh, I don't know. Some people you might not be it, able though. to stomach what, what he had me do. Yeah, you did it, though. Uh, let's see. It's 33 degrees and foggy here in southern Oregon. Oh, wow. That's where Braden's at, so... Cornbread casserole, canned corn, and jiffy cornbread. We'll have to see chicken it's taco not, casserole. I don't think it's casserole. It was something it else. It was like a casserole, I think, babe. He said like cornbread hash, maybe? <sighs> cornbread. I can't remember. Dang it. Now I'm trying to remember what he said was in it, too. I know. There was some distinguishing. But thing. he was like, Mom, it was so good. Uh, welcome, Samantha. Is Samantha new to the channel? You guys, we are almost at 9,000 subs on this foodies channel. Let's see if we can get it to 10,000. That would be awesome. That's like a little goal for us here. 10,000, oh. Subscribers, subscribers? We don't yes. pay. We don't pay as much attention to subscribers that much anymore. Um, but on the smaller channel, like that, that's a pretty cool milestone for starting up. Yeah, to, to get 10,000 10, What are we at right now? 8.9. We're almost at 9,000. We're getting very close. That's how I feel with my Instagram. Like Instagram, when you get 10,000, you get the swipe up. I'm like at 8,000 something. I'm like, this is taking forever. <laughs> Our Instagram for Fam Bam, like literally goes up like a thousand, drops a thousand. Up a thousand, drops a thousand. Not a full or thousand. A or a hundred. It's like, like between it goes a hundred. up and down, up and down, yeah, up and down. We're like, okay. Instagram might be one of the hardest platforms to get people to follow. Amy, thank you for the super chat. Finally oh. leaving work. Thanks for a pop-up live to help my 14-hour day go faster. Oh, Anytime. So glad you could make it. You guys, we do these, <clears throat> these mukbangs like sometimes every other day, every few days. We just, we just go live with you guys here on the foodies. Let's see. Tonight when I go to sleep, I'm going to put it on autoplay and just let <clears throat> it play till morning. Oh, awesome. Which one? I'm assuming just one of our... 
videos. Oh, I don't know. Charles, thank you for the super chat. Maybe I missed it up here. I can't. I don't know. Oh, Charles, thank you. Okay, okay you, you did, did two taco casseroles and you made one with Doritos and one regular. Just looked it up. Yeah. Thank Charles. you, Secretary Charles. We thank appreciate you. that. So yeah, we've done two taco casseroles, you guys. If you have another one that's a little variation, Ooh. let us know. So Samantha says that she works at Dunkin' Donuts. She said, do a live with it. A peppermint mocha and gingerbread flavor is in. Mmm. But we don't drink coffee. Don't drink can coffee. you get it without coffee somehow? Like, is can they do that? I know Starbucks can do that. Yeah. Um. I know. Hold on. I'm just looking. Oh, Kelly Brown, four ninety nine super chat. Thank oh. you so much. She's like, I've never done a super chat before, so here we go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was so nice, Kelly. Thank you. Um, the gingerbread Dunkin' is delicious. We made your Dorito taco lasagna and loved it. Oh yeah, dang, I've gotta go back and look at my own recipes for my own ideas. Yes. Yeah. I forget what we've made, we've made so many things. Um, oh, that's awesome. Oh, if, you're, if you pull up your channel and click autoplay, it just plays through all of your videos. Okay, so you guys, Everyone do it. this is a plan tonight. <laughs> that would be hilarious. This is a plan tonight, okay? Oh, go no. to our, our Phillips Fam Bam channel, or this channel, whichever you want, whichever one you want and go to playlists. It goes videos or playlists. Go to playlists and pick one. The bedroom the bedroom makeovers have like 48 videos. The Chris, the Christmas ones or the, the vlogs or the grocery hauls, they all have um, videos there. If you click on one of those as well, it'll play all of them in a row. So you can get caught up on them or just, uh, that'd be awesome. That's a fun way to get, help us out. Get sick and tired of us. <laughs> yeah, that's a binge. Well, that's a good way to do it. You're going to start dreaming about all of this. <laughs> like Tina. Actually, I will probably at some point wake you up from your sleep because my voice gets so loud sometimes. <laughs> well, I'm like, oh, oh, Tina, Tina, what's going on? Serious. <laughs> oh, or awesome. see how many times you could hear Choose Your Day Through the Night. Choose your day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You'll be waking up saying Choose Your Day. Kelly, LOL, that was way too easy. It is, huh, Kelly? <laughs> oh, yeah, so Alma Trumbull, yes, I do. Email me or DM me, because I'll forget. Um, she yeah. found out which grocery haul was the last the one rice. we had the rice. Yes. So remind me, and I'll send you something, so that way I can get you a little treat. Um, we don't like hater. Once a fam, bam, fan, we turn into family. That That's is true. so right. That is so true. Um, I just made the cream cheese olive garden pasta for supper tonight. Ooh, Courtney. Do you remember that? Cream cheese pretty olive recent. garden pasta. I don't. It was like the olive garden dressing, but it like with a, like. Look, with oh, it was almost cheese. like an Alfredo sauce. So good. Yeah. So yummy. That was good. I'll be hearing that in my dreams, Tyler said. <laughs> That's awesome. Email is phillipsfambamvlogs at gmail.com. Oh, Jen mutes it. So Jen lets it play and then mutes it. Wow. Um, you can caption it. Honestly, or... though, you guys could almost, if you all came together and actually did it. You, you could, could trick the algorithm. You could literally, <laughs> like, change the algorithm on our channel. You possibly, I wonder yes. what it would do. Like, just blow. Everyone tonight, just run it. <laughs> run, run it on mute. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny to see. Um... Can you put the flavors into a frozen hot chocolate? Ooh. Oh, oh, you can put the flavors. Oh, oh, that's, ooh. We should do a hot chocolate taste test. Let's do a frozen, frozen hot, hot chocolate, chocolate flavored. Ooh. What are some frozen hot chocolate flavors? Well, she said that you could do the, we could like do the peppermint. peppermint and the, what was the other one? Uh, Mocha? No. That's what she said. There was I two, there's, I don't know. Remind me, peppermint. Oh, we said peppermint, right? I'll do it tonight. My TV's always on. Oh, peppermint oh. mocha and gingerbread. Thank you, okay. Samantha. Yes. That, ooh, yum. Uh, gingerbread. Agreed, Emily. Sorry. Uh, I do that quite often. Haha. -ha. I usually go to bed with you two playing on my TV. All right. Make sure it's Fan Bam. Yeah. Who is um? Who's a go to sleep to... Fan Bam. Well, who's a go to sleep to TV type people? Ooh, my not mom a, is. Not really us. My mom Your likes, mom is yeah, that way. Yeah, she has to sleep with it on. Yep. Even when she, my mom stays here, she keeps the TV on. Samantha uses white noise. Okay. Snickerdoodle. Uh, 
Tootsie, I can't say your name, Tootsie Mess. Not me, I love silence. Ooh. Like complete, like I have to have like the fan going or something. Like oh, yeah, she some does. sort of no. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm like, hold on, <laughs> look at my hair. Uh, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> you're so knocked out, you don't even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. um, ooh, I sleep to thunderstorms. There's this, uh, what did I see? It was like being advertised on Facebook or something for Harry Styles, his go to sleep um, app. And it has like thunderstorms and lightning and like rain, but it's him talking to you in a like a smooth voice. Oh, I'm like, funny. this is hilarious. If you guys want us to make a CD of us talking so you can go to sleep to our voices, <laughs> that just seems so weird. <laughs> Oh, oh, Kylie says she always falls asleep watching Phillips Fan Man. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I actually want to know what would happen <clears throat> if everyone did that. Like, what impact would that have on a channel? Now you so, all got my brain. So I would it could, be curious. It could help in the sense that, okay, so YouTube really likes, or the algorithm really likes it as far as recommending your channel when someone watches consecutive videos on your channel mm -hmm. or goes from your channel to another one immediately they still like, but ideally your own, mm -hmm. if you watch it continuously, because then they're gonna be like, oh wow, they really like this content, Let's, we're gonna keep showing it. Mm -hmm. Then not only are we gonna show it to that person, we're gonna show it to similar people to that person and then show it to them. Other people who watch similar type videos as you, YouTube will start showing it to. But it's got, that's why we always say double it up, watch another video right mm -hmm. after, double it up. It helps the channel. It really helps us out. So when you go to the end, there's little cards sometimes we put at the end of the video, click those, and then that will help us and it'll allow you to watch another video. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's one way. Or if you watch a playlist, it'll automatically play up another one of our videos so in let's, that category. Let's test it out. Who's in? Would yeah. you guys be willing to let it play through? I'm in. Oh, me too. I'll be in. You can mute it, you could do whatever, but let it play through and just let it keep run. Like not the same video, but the playlist so that yeah. it goes from one to the next to the next. See what I'd be curious. We All of a sudden tomorrow. it's like rah, broken. Yeah. Channel, <laughs> Channel deleted. Channel is deleted. Ah! <laughs> um, ooh, candy cane taste test. Oh. That is such a great idea. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, maybe we'll do that. We did a candy cane challenge once. We should do it again. Remember? Oh, what did we hooking, do? something with hooking them. Yeah, we had to hook them up. I think we had to hold it in our mouth and try to hook as <clears> we many had as one we in could. our mouth and hook the other. We others. did it with your sister, yeah. right? We should do it. So we've been thinking on Phillips Fam Bam that once a week we do like a family game or family challenge on that channel. Yeah, we're trying to make Phillips Fam Bam more vlogging, more family, more of the family, less food. The food will be over here, um, but I think that'll be fun. I think so. And stay tuned because this week we're coming out with our. Uh, a continuation of our serving others video. We've got one coming up for you guys. Ah, oh, Jen. Jen says, I'm asking us all to do this for the week and see what it does. I don't know if it's ever been done before. Wow. Oh, also Jen Forever. Is that Jen? No, Jen Bowles. Okay. Well, Jen Forever, you guys, you guys all know Jen Forever. She just hit 600 subs on her YouTube channel. And Aww. so she has, she does gaming. And she just hit 600 subs, you guys. How awesome is that? That's amazing. Yes. That's almost to a thousand. Yeah. That so, first thousand, you're just like, oh, so, so awesome. Fan Bammers, if you get a chance, go to Jen Forever. Jen Forever. That's, that's her YouTube. Four. Go over there, and on her most recent video, it's her 600 sub video. Go in there and say, Fan Bammers here, Fan Bammers Unite. Oh, you guys see her in the chat all the time. Yes. She was basically the reason why we were able to hook up with She Roman was a Edward. big part of that, a yes. A huge part of that. Yes. So, um, so, Danny, does it help more to watch like four vlogs at once or one each day? Ooh, back Consecutive, to back. Back, back to, to back. back. The back to back helps okay, so, because it tells YouTube that you like what you're watching, so you want to watch more. Yes, and think so, about it from YouTube's perspective. They, if you watch consecutively, then we're doing our job of keeping you on YouTube, and then you watch the ads or what have you, which that helps YouTube. So, and so yeah. that's ultimately what it is. is YouTube Basically, wants if it helps us, YouTube. Yes, <laughs> YouTube wants us to keep you on the platform as long as possible. And so the, if you watch consecutively, that's better. If you go watch our video and then you leave, 
that's almost works against us. Mm -hmm. And so they're gonna be like, oh, they're not that interested. They're gonna go, they're gonna go somewhere else. And then if you go to somewhere else and watch consecutive of theirs, boom, that's what they're gonna recommend to you. Mm -hmm. So watch ours consecutively. Watch a couple. Just it's like a weird even if game, you watch guys. two or three, just do that. It helps. For sure. Fam Ammer Charles, five dollar super chat. My bar room has PFB on it all the time, even when not in there. And also if you watch a lot. Um, it has you rate channel. I've seen oh, that. Yes, it does. I've only seen that maybe pop up. A couple times. Yeah, pop up once or something for a channel. I can't remember though. <clears throat> yes, Yvonne says, do it tonight, everyone. Do it. Do, do it, it. Do it. Do it. Super chat. Super chat. That's what. What is that? A super chat. What is that? A super chat. Uh, peppermint challenge. On That's which a good channel? Idea. Wow, Charles. You could do whichever chat. one you want. Whichever one you want. You could do it here. You could do it on um, Phillips Fan Band. Should Those are the two main channels. Pin down a certain channel to see. I'm okay if it with does either anything. one. Okay, either because one. Because they're connected. Yeah. So the, either way, you're connected. So it will. Um, It'll help. Yeah. Ideally, two from the same channel, though. Um, do you guys still talk to this is how we being them? I love their channel as well as yours. Sending love from Illinois where it's 30 degrees. Oh. Yeah, we communicate yes. with them here and there. Yeah, we do. And also our life in Holland, actually. So we love the Binghams, you guys. Hopefully when COVID's over, we can all figure out a way to hook up and do some sort of collab. I don't yeah. know. Or just to see them, honestly, it'd be fun. Um, let's see. <clears throat> That's a good one, Emily. Oh, I guess I missed. Yeah. Sorry. Trying to get you guys' <laughs> Yes. Amy, you can just let it run without listening to you. Yeah, you can uh, just press mute. <laughs> um, be right back. Got to get some sweet tea. Hi, guys. What is good? What's, What's up, up, Rebecca? Are we getting the trim? No, unfortunately, oh, we haven't ordered it. No. We need to, though. If they're not sold out already. They sell out pretty quick. Let's get Foodie's channel to 10K. Let's do it. That would be so, so awesome. And, oh, just so you guys know, another thing you can do, like say for Foodie's, is watch Foodie's, right? So say you watch a couple of our Foodie's videos, then go and watch another Foodie's channel. Then what's going to happen is you're going to start getting recommended Foodie's videos. Yep. Um, so similar type content, they will start recommending you. And if you start watching certain channels... Like Rach loves, right? Like Rach loves, or you could watch A and K, uh, or K and A, K and A, K and A. You guys actually go check out K and A. This is a favor. Go check out K and A. Comment on their most recent video and say you're fan bammers. You came from Philly. We're asking a lot of you guys tonight. Yes, but but I think <laughs> but you will fan like. fan bammers, so we know you come through. But Sorry. I really think you will like K and A because they they do similar type food as we do. It's a couple. We do similar as they do, mm -hmm. and so um, they're like. They're awesome. They're funny. They're funny. They are so funny. They're awesome. They've got amazing ideas. Um, in fact, we've we've like looked at some of their videos and are like, that is really cool. Yeah, we got to try that. Yes. That's actually a huge part of where Keep It or Swap, Swap It, it came, came from. from. Yeah. So go <clears throat> go uh, shout out to K and A. Uh, we want to also we want to definitely give them credit for some of the ideas we've had. Yeah. And so make sure you let them know that you came from Phillips Fan Bam Foodies and uh, show them the Fan Bam love. K and A. They are funny. Um, Kelly says, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now my brain is going like, now I'm thinking about how this could be used to raise popularity of like an artist channel or new YouTube channels. My advertising brain. <clears throat> yes, Kelly. It's you're true. Right on the right track. That's why you have to be careful though, that YouTube, like when too much happens at once, like to a certain extent, like YouTube can tell, um, if they're bots or not. That's what like some of these companies do. They like they purchase views and stuff to get a bunch of people to flood in, but YouTube's algorithm, YouTube's systems can detect those things. Mm -hmm. Like number one, if you guys are regular watchers and then you start watching, you, you still watch us, but you're watching more and more and more, that's good. Yeah. But if you just all of a sudden start watching DIYs, you know, a ton, then they might be like, and everyone does, they yeah. might be like suspicious. Of yeah, it. that's true. Uh... Yeah, K and A, Lindsay. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Okay, would you guys ever do meet and greets? Yes. We totally would. We would just have to, we've talked about this before, but we would just have to figure out a location where I, I, there would be enough people to come. I would do one here in Vegas at like a Starbucks outside. I would totally do one. Um, And whoever came, whoever came. If it was five people, cool. Ten people, cool. Whatever. 
three people, that's even cooler. Yeah. You hang out longer. Makes it a little bit more personable. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Let's see, k and Moss Family Vlogs too. Oh yeah, Moss Family's awesome. Uh, Tina, did you map out kitchen redo? You could probably just ask instead of trying to break tile, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even think about the tile. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we posted on our TikTok and on our Instagram a video of me doing a prank on Danny. I did not even think about it breaking the tile. I was more worried about his feet, which is why I had him sitting in the chair because I didn't want it to like land on his feet. <laughs> but I didn't, I'm like, dang it, I should put like a pillow or something. I mean, it didn't break, it's totally fine. But I didn't even think about the tile, so I was glad it didn't break. <laughs> I am. Um, if you watch the one on our Phillips Fan Bam Live, wait, did I put it on there? Yeah. The if reels? You, mm -hmm. Yeah. If you watch it on there, there's more recorded where I actually am like, the tile. Yeah, that was his. He's like, okay, first of all, <laughs> the tile. <laughs> you didn't see that on the Instagram because uh -uh. it cut off. But on the one on YouTube, on our Phillips Fan Bam Live channel, you, um, I'm like, what's up with the tile? Like, did you not think about that? I literally didn't. Vlogmas, we've never really been... What is Vlogmas It's exactly? basically a vlog every day until Christmas. Oh, which is kind of what we do anyway. Yeah, I just, we just haven't really been into like Vlogmas. I just don't know what it is. Like, is it something Christmas, Christmas related every day? Every which day. is basically what it is around this time it's of year, I feel like. Vlogmas, so you just vlog till Christmas. Yeah, oh, okay. I hope you all come to Oregon after Brayden's mission. We actually will be. Brayden wants oh. to take us back to Oregon to go meet like the families he's been in communication with and stayed with and different things like that. So mm -hmm. we're definitely planning like a family trip there. <clears throat> Can you guys play mafia again on Phillips fam bam live? Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. We'll have to do that. That's yeah, that so was fun. fun. That was so funny. I cried. He was more worried about the floor. LOL. I know <clears throat> that was like the first thing that came to his brain, which is funny because I didn't even think about it. And that was the first thing he thought about. So oops. <laughs> Uh, hey, from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Ooh, Wyoming's so pretty. Real Life Among Us. That is going to come up soon on the Phillips Fam Bam channel. We have plans um, for that. Yes, we were just talking about our our sweatshirts, our colors, and things like that. So we're going to have that. That's going to be a lot of fun because that's going to be a multi-camera um, vlog. Oh, the, the Deitches fam did that? What? She said you all should do Real Life Among Us like the Deitches fam did. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't see their video. I didn't. We watch, Amberlynn watches a lot of Norris Nuts and oh they are my. crazy. They are crazy. crazy. <laughs> but not in a bad way. No. Just crazy fun. Yeah. And they're... just nonstop. And they do Among Us. And it's pretty funny. Amberlynn loves so Amberlynn it. So loves, Amberlynn loves, loves the Norris it. Nuts. Um, does Brayden have any thoughts on doing more with the church after his mission? Yeah, just be an active member. Yeah, just be an active member. He's more like, obviously he'll do what, like he'll have a calling in the church where he'll volunteer and stuff like that. But I think more is going to be focused on, like he's going to be doing his schooling and getting back into reacclimated into real life. Which he was like even expressing to us the other day how like he's a little nervous about coming home and, and adjusting. Mm -hmm. He was even like, Oh man, as it gets closer, I get nervous where I'm like, okay, I'll just stay. I'll just stay. Yeah. Because he's just like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to adjust. Like, it's am I going to get back into like, you know, the habits I had was in before? Am I going to stay? I said, you'll probably be a balance. Mm -hmm. You'll probably be a balance. And the interest you had before may not be interest that you're going to have now. Mm -hmm. And so it's just different. But he's a little nervous about that. It's definitely a change. Yeah. Like from when he gets back. So it was a change going out there. And now, now that he's used to that, when he comes home, it's going to be like, oh, wow, siblings, you know, like regular home life. Yeah. Um, oh, have fun doing laundry, Courtney. I watched the prank three times because I thought it was so funny. funny. Danny looked in shock. He was. And the thing you guys didn't see before that was he was like literally taking a little cat nap on the nap on the couch. And I was like, hey, babe, I want to do a TikTok with you. <laughs> He's like, okay. okay. I said, no, what I said, I said, as long as I don't have to learn any dance moves, I'm cool with it. He did say that. That's <laughs> funny. Um, the mission changed Brayden. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
We want to start the Fan Bam Ohio fan chapter. Ooh. Ooh. I know. How many people from Ohio are here? I've heard, I saw Ohio pop up a few times. Yeah. It's 36 degrees in Martinsville, Virginia. Wow. Yes. Live in Ohio or live in Ohio. Oh, Lindsay, you live in Ohio? Twooty Mess says that's awesome. That would really be fun. Wow. Let's see. Make sure you like the video, everyone. Yvonne, oh, please. thank you, Yvonne. I'm from New York. Yeah, does Braden know what he wants to study? We talked to him about that a little even last conversation, and he's it's up in the air a little bit. But we were like, man, you should go into, uh, we were like, you should, you should be a fireman. That's what I was telling He's all, no, that sounds boring. I'm like, really? Like, what? That's so boring. I'm like, you could be a fireman. He um he really wants to get into the um the sex trafficking stuff oh, okay. with the our rescue. Like he just was very motivated by uh Tim what's his name? Tim Ballard. Tim Ballard. And so he kinda wants to go to school to kind of study for stuff along those lines. I think you have to have some history of I don't know. He's trying to figure it out, but he would love to be a part of that in some way. He was saying, he was saying that yesterday or yesterday was Monday, right? Monday. Yeah. Um, coming back from a mission has got to be super challenging, but coming home from a mission while during a pandemic. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Well, hopefully the pandemic will be over by then. Oh, yeah. That's clear next year. Yeah, Let's that's... see. He's got like 10 months left, right? Yeah. Nine, nine to 10. 10. Uh, he seems like he'd be good doing business or like a lawyer. He would, he would, honestly, he would do good at whatever he wants to do because he's just, he's very smart, very motivated. I think he would do, do a good job. Tweeting, how's Ashlyn? We don't see too much of her and, and I think she's super funny and acts like Tina. She's <laughs> hilarious. She does act like me. She's so you, funny. Well, you've got to catch her in her mood. It's kind of like Brayden, you teenager. know, we give them their space. Yeah. To be honest, if we were like, come on, come on, come on, she would probably do it more. But we don't, but like, we don't to do like to do that. Yeah. And so she just, we just, when she does, we embrace it and we go with it. Yeah. You know? And so some days she's like, like the other day I was like, hey, babe, don't forget to vlog. And she's like, oh, I'll help out. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Like she's totally fine with it. We're just not the type that we're going to be like, hey, kids, ha, huh? laugh, ha, ha, ha. No. You know? Like we just kind of get whatever's natural. And then if they don't feel it, then. We're fine with not putting it in. You guys yeah. are pretty awesome and understanding of that too. And, and I don't know. I mean, for some kids it's different. Some kids are just more natural at it. Mm -hmm. um, but you even have kids like Elijah who's like very confident. As he gets older, they start they start second guessing themselves. Mm -hmm. It's just a natural thing we've experienced with Brayden. We see it with Ashlyn. We see it with Ethan. If you've seen Ethan's in it a little less. And, and to be honest, we're, we're in this for the long haul. Mm -hmm. If we want our kids to be part of it for the long haul, Mm -hmm. We have to give them their space with it. Mm -hmm. Like they're going to go and then they're going to come back. They're going to go and they're going to come back. Mm -hmm. But if we're in their face, they're going to burn out on it like mm -hmm. right away. So we're in it for the long haul. And we keep that in mind by giving them their space with it. Because yep. then they'll, they'll mm -hmm. come back. They'll come back to it, you know, and <coughs> we'll see. Sometimes Ethan like wants to be part of it. Sometimes he doesn't. So we, we just have to be that. in the mood for it. Mm -hmm. That's plain and simple. And we like them to we allow them to just be kids and do whatever they, they, not whatever they want to do, but you know what I mean? No, uh, Lindsay B says she should do, she needs to do more on her channel, which is funny because literally the last three days, she's like, I think I'm going to film a video for my channel. Yes. And I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea because you guys were really liking her content on her channel. Yes. And then since school started, she's been so busy and just has had a hard time like being consistent with it. And it's hard for her, like, you know, at that age, like she gets ideas and then she's like, oh no, that's not, that's not a good idea. That's not a good one. And we're like- It was a we, great idea. We, we kind of have an, we're kind of okay at doing this stuff. Um, <clears throat> this is, but we let her, it's her thing. Yeah. But they, they tend to second, I don't well, know, teenagers second guess themselves. Well, it's a, teen it's a teenage themselves. thing. Like, you know your peers are watching. Yeah. You know people your age are watching. So you're a little bit more, I guess, I don't know, insecure about it. I don't mm -hmm. know. Because I, I wouldn't consider her like a super insecure person. No. But you do tend to second guess things. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we were all teenagers once. We know. Um, Tina, where was the heated vest from you guys mentioned the other day? Um, Acaso. Acaso, and I actually got mine, you guys. Ooh. I should show you. I'll show you in a vlog coming up, but Danny has this black one. Mine's more of like a dark gray. They're really cool. 
Um, I love to hear her sing. She sings so beautiful. She really does, which is funny about second guessing Lisa that you mentioned her singing because she posted this beautiful song on TikTok the other day. Okay. And then I went back like 10 minutes later to like watch it again. Deleted. <laughs> and I said, why did you delete it? I like text her. Why did you delete it? And she's like, I decided I didn't like it anymore. Oh. <laughs> I was like, whatever. <laughs> but she is. She's so good at singing. Um, I love to hear her sing. She sings so beautiful. Elijah, watching Elijah play video games reminds me of watching my son play at that age. He's very entertaining. Yeah, he loves it. Can you imagine them growing up and having their own family vlogs? To be honest, I, I could see it. Oh, I could see it. I could see it. And honestly, I could see it with all of them. And I think a big part of it, though, would be their spouse. If their spouse was on board, you will see the Phillips Fan Band. It's very hard to do it without all over. Yeah. being two, these two it, being it's on not board. It's not worth, to be honest, it's not worth it to do it without your spouse on, in it 100%. Yeah. It's too, it's too time consuming. It's, you need too much coordination and like with each other, with the household. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not worth it. No. It would it'd be, total, it'd be, it would be a total struggle. Oh yeah. To if do it without. One of us were not on board. Yeah. Uh, I get it. The internet can be cruel with hate comments sometimes. Yeah. You know what, Shyla? It's so true. They really can. And especially, I always like when we get comments from like, teenagers or kids i just kind of laugh it off because i'm like kids don't know better some yeah. of them are just like whatever it's when it's the adults like the adult women who are like over 30 sitting there making these mean comments i'm like you are a grown adult and you are caught like it blows my it doesn't bother me anymore it used to it used to bother me a lot but now i'm just like really <laughs> like Really? You're a grown adult. Come yeah. on, guys. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, Elijah cracks me up. Oh, that kid has a great personality. He really does. And he has from the beginning. Like, ever since he was little, people would just, he would make everybody laugh. Oh. He's just always been that yeah. way. We don't have Sonic in Canada. Oh, man. It's so good. Food taster TV. Um... Let's see. It was so good. I caught it. Oh. Can I get a shout out? What's up, Dylan? Oh, Jen Forever. We were just talking about you. The heat of vest would be amazing here in Minnesota in these cold months ahead. Dana Warner. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Dana Warner, I don't get texts from you. I get emails from you. So if you're, you're, you're not texting. So emails, we don't, we are very limited on the responses with emails because we get flooded with emails every day. Um, so make sure you join the text group. Yes, the text group's a little bit easier. Yes, especially for us women. Women should support other women. Speaking of Tina, why, when are you gonna do another sit down and chat videos? Those are my favorite videos you have ever done. Ooh, so you mean like, like the ones I've done on Philips Fam Bam, the like my teen story and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, those are totally should do one. Whew, those are good, but those are like, those are tough because it makes me feel the feels, and I don't always love that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I we'll see, we'll see. Uh, oh, you know what I would, you know what I would like? I just thought of this. I would love for Tina to sit down with Ashlyn and Tina, because you know, you guys know Tina's story. She was, she got pregnant with Brayden at 17. Ashlyn's turning 16. I would love for Tina to tell Ashlyn what she would have told herself, what she Ooh, would tell her 17 year old self. Wow. That's I what could, I, what I could would, do that. That would, that's, that'd be pretty deep, I think. Yeah. Or could be, could be funny too. Could be funny, could be deep. I think I think it's something that's kind of cool. Yeah, I would. I could do that. I mean, we've talked about things like that already, but yeah, and just kind of like preface, like just kind of start off with a little, you know, quick little history of your story when you can refer to the the other video, and then just yeah, done. This is how we brainstorm, guys. Yeah, with you guys here <laughs> present, so you can tell us good idea, bad idea. Uh, Shayla, if you go to our Phillips Fan Bam, um, our Phillips Fan Bam channel, the regular channel, I have like my teen story over there. Yes. 
Um, I am older and I have learned to take nasty online comments with a grain of salt. And as my grandma would say, consider the source. Oh, yes. Consider the source. I like that. Yeah, the Jergies just did that to themselves, which is pretty awesome. That oh was a good Oh my one. gosh, that it was, was cool. so good. And, did someone uh, say that? Yeah, the jur they said the Jergies, but the Jergies did. Yeah, Jergies. Oh, that was such a good video. That was video. a good video. And uh, someone said I should do one sit down and tell Nana stories. Oh, I've got oh, a ton of Nana stories. That would be so cool. But yeah, you know what? One day I will do like a like a dedicated video to Nana. That would be cool. But I, I don't know if I would get through it. <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> okay, like, I don't, no, I'm already having to take off my glasses. Is, no, this, oh, <laughs> this video is dedicated to my 103-year-old Nana. Oh, she's got the title and everything. Wow. No, like that would be amazing. Like how, not only for like YouTube, but like I could for send her, it to her to see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that would be amazing. Oh, wow, you guys. That would be, that's a tough one. Danny, that's a good idea because I always wondered what Tina would do if it happened with Ashlyn. Um, yeah, and I always say, what do I always say, Charles? I would love her no less. Love, love her no less. But yeah. you do hope your children learn from your, I don't like to call it mistakes, but learn from your hardships and things that you went through. And I'm very open with my kids, all of them. And I've been very open with her about teen pregnancy and how hard that was and, and how difficult it of a journey it was just to get yeah. to where we are. So we truly believe like the experiences we've had, even like negative ones, tough ones, they're, they're the, there's a good purpose behind it. And we went through those for a reason. And so to share them with our kids would be almost like withholding, withholding the why we went through them. Yeah. So we're open with our kids. We, we let them know, hey, we've been around the block a few times, you guys. Don't think you're going to get too much bias. Yeah. And so between the two of us right here, sorry. <laughs> Ashlyn actually one time was talking to Brayden. She's like, she's like, or no, what did Brayden say? Well, oh, what did he say? Something like, or she said something to Brayden like, Mom and dad always know. They always know. How she do they always friend. know? I think it was because... She told her friend, my parents always know. Yeah. And we do. <laughs> we very much do. I can't tell if they're fighting or playing. Danny, please do it for Christmas. Like, Jen, like, do it as, like, a little Christmas oh, gift to her. Oh, I would love that. Could you get through that? I can't even question. almost right now. <laughs> And he hasn't even said anything. Aw. But that's why it would be so meaningful. My Christmas message to my hundred and Okay. I'll be right back. Wow. Oh, <laughs> they're going at. Wow. Let's see. The boys are going at it. Let's see. Yeah, I probably will. I think I could do it. I think I could do it. We could cut things out, cut things in and out. Let's see. Y'all film when Brayden gets home. Of course, we're definitely gonna film when Brayden gets home. Totally, no doubt, we'll film when Brayden gets home. That's gonna be huge. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> so you guys, real life, realize. 103 reasons why we love you. Oh, wow. That would be, that would be good and that, would take a little more time, but it would, it would, uh, it would not be hard. There's, we could come up with 2000 reasons why we love Nana. So that wouldn't be bad. Let's see. I found that being open with my kids allowed them to make wiser decisions for themselves. Yes. Any special traditions for Christmas? Yeah, we do. We, we do have special traditions for Christmas. Um, we share those with you like in upcoming vlogs throughout over the next three weeks. So, see ya, Nick likes videos. Woo. Our kids don't fight, our kids don't fight, our kids don't fight. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 never. Um, what's Callie say? Everyone has a story. The world would be a much better place if we all stopped hating on each other and took time to learn each other's story. I just lived our own life and just lived our own lives without comparison. Yeah. Oh gosh, wouldn't that be a great world to live in? Because I just feel like you can learn something from everyone. Everyone and anyone. Oh, yeah. If you just like listen and give people the benefit of the doubt, which a lot of people don't do anymore, especially on the internet. No, no. <laughs> but you guys, we are going to get going. We got to wrangle the kids up, get them settled oh, for bed. It's almost seven. Yes. So, and we have a little bit of uh, 
kind of a little makeover we're doing upstairs and so it's changing some things around stay so tuned. stay tuned for that coming up this week and that's it you guys we are out thanks again you guys this, this is one, awesome this, this one went cool. a little long but you know what we were having fun chatting with y'all yeah we had about 150 150 130 here regularly consistently so thanks you guys for hanging with us we'll do these more often here um, but we all will also do like our family ones, sit down type fun ones for sure uh, on Phil's fan bam live. So thanks again for watching you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and most importantly, don't forget, choose your day. Bye everybody. Bye.